Hey friends, Elance here with a new episode of Elance Do It Yourself. So today we are going to be building a door here to separate this lower level from the upper level. And I got this French glass door from Lowe's. It's all glass, just the frame, white frame. And uh, it's a uh, 36 inch by 80 inch. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to be attaching this door here. So uh, one of the things that I realized was is that, uh, you know, it's not, uh, the door hinge is not made, so I'm going to have to make all those things and uh, buy the lock. And also I got uh, the frame from one of my local restore. So this is the frame that I'm going to be using here. I'll set this frame here and the door will open inside going to the left. I mean, yeah, inside if you're on this side, yeah, going to the left. So I'll have to fill this gap and I probably will have to have another glass door up, you know, above the door. So that one I can build it myself. And this is the door, I'm going to open it. This is the frame. I got it from a local restore and, uh, you know, I got it from a damaged door. So I'm just going to paint it and fix anything, if any, that need to be fixed on this frame. And this frame, I got it for almost five times less the price if I were to buy it from Lowe's or Home Depot. So it's a good deal. I love saving. I love doing good work, cheap. And yeah, so very happy about that. And now I'm going to open this door. So they said, do not use blade to open this. So this is it, this is our new door and as I said there's nothing here for the, uh, the door hinge to be, nothing is pre-made, pre nothing is drilled so I'm going to have to make it myself which I've never done before as many of my project, it's another learning experience. Learning on the go. <clears throat> so that'll be that'll be very beautiful. All right. And As you can see here, we will have to move this a little bit down, further down. I'll mark it from this level up here and move it, shift it down. So I went ahead and I lay uh, the door on the frame, sitting in, so, now, so I can. I'm going to go ahead now and mark this, this hinge to make it. So I'll mark this and mark it here, mark it here again, and mark it here. So once I have that marked, it'll be easy to go ahead and, but I may have made a mistake, because I think I need to have uh, some space on the top. So I need to find something to create a space on the top to have some room there for the door to to easily close, open and close. All right, so this will do it. I need, I need this gap here.
Okay. So now that I have that marked, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make room there for the hinge. Now we have this this tool, you know, to uh, to grill the door the door hinge. So I have this. I'm just going to sit it here, and everything is nice. It has a lock here to hold it to let me know that okay, that's how you know this is the lock. I cannot go. I cannot come inside further than that. So I'm just going to pull this based on the line that I have inside that I've that I've marked, and this are the hole. I'm going to screw this on the door and then just follow the shape. I have my router set, so now it's just time to do the magic. And that's it. The magic is there. Now it's time to do the second, the second door hinge. So I have this and we can cry out. And this one is just perfect. So I had to modify a little bit. I should have tested it before. I'm going to keep. Okay. That's it's just perfect. That's how it should be. Flush out lever. I missed on the first one. So I will have to put something on the first one to lever it. We are going to repeat the same thing here. And we are done. Nice, very flush out. First one is too deep. First one is too deep. So I need to I need to level this up here, and that's really a lot. So now I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. I went ahead and I cut this piece of one quarter i mean uh, one eighth of an inch plywood and we just sit here and this one will just be very flush out now so that that will do it so you have a few inch to cut out on this I will get this part out and then lock it there and that will do it. I have this ready. I will just put it here.
very very well flush out and that's good So now it's time to grill this hole. Perfect, we got this out. And then we have another one. Oh, okay. That's a lot of work for only the one door. Alright. Next step here will be to wrap this part and wrap this part, and that will be all. So, friends, this part I don't have the tools for it. So I will have to use my eye and make sure I follow the line and that's a tough one. All right, friend. That's the best I could do. And it's not level here. And here, so I need to adjust this. But before I do so, let me try to. <coughs> As you can see, I have nothing else to adjust here because if I try to adjust, that's why I will mess it up. I think I did a very good job. I did a very good job with this. Yeah, very good job with this first one. Nothing else to adjust. So, it's time to try the second one. Okay, this will help me to have a better vision. And hopefully get it wet. So this one seems to be a lot better. Check it out. Looks good. If I turn this around. There we go. Spin. Nice, beautiful. I love it. Ooh. 
Great. So we got a lot of pieces in place. And now it's time to try to put all the pieces together. So this one. So this will go in like this. This one goes like this. Oops. Okay. And we have this. And I will hold that in place. And this one. We'll do the same on this side. And if I can use this guy. Don't mess up my door. No, I need to find something there. And so we got it working. Okay, close, okay, open, open, close, open. All right, and take off the key. Okay, take off the key. It's locked. You cannot open from inside. And here you can lock from inside, but you can open. So here I can lock here from outside, take off the key, and you can open from inside, but you can open from outside. So basically I have the key in and out, right? So basically if I lock here, to open here, you can if I lock here, you can open from inside, but if I lock here, if I lock, when I lock these two, you will need at least one key to open, <coughs> to open um, either side you are. For example, this one is locked, this is locked. So if I'm inside here, I'm able, I'll be able to open here, but I'll see the lock in. Right, and if these two are locked again, and I'm here, I can unlock here, so I'll be able to open from this side, but I will not be able to open here, so I will need a key on this side to open it. So that's a goal here for this security door that I will put in the basement, you know, in the basement to be able to control it on one side. All right, so now it's time to mount it, and I need to turn it, flip it over, and then set up the other part. So I just cut this part out and that's for the cream, the base cream that we have on, on the floor. So I'm going to do the same here. So now we are going to start doing some of the finishing work here. And this one of those. <coughs> Get that, then put the screw. Screw that in. Okay. Let me do the same for this one. Place. So we're good there. We can put this on the side. Now we have to close the door. All good. All 
All right, so now I just have to do the molding around. Hey friends, so I've got to this point where I'm going to build this frame. I got all my measurements and I cut everything already. So this is it. I just need to build this frame. And <coughs> with that, we will build this and then put our glass inside this frame. So I'm going to pre-drill this spot. And I'm going to use the two and a half inch screw. Frame is done, so just have to close it and put the glass inside here. We'll do it. So with this, we will need a glass of uh, 34 and a half by 19, 19, 34 and a half. I went to Home Depot and I got this glass. We got the frame made, so now we're going to put the glass in this frame, and it will give us this window. So I went ahead and I mark it here, and I mark it here. So I'm going to cut this, cut this, and it'll just fit in, just right in this in this frame. All right. So let's get the table, the table saw ready, and cut it with the table saw. It's a plastic glass, very solid, and yeah, table saw will be able to handle it. We have our glass cut out, it looks good, and it's still protected by a fine layer of uh, plastic. So I have these frames already painted out. So this will go right in like that. This one will go right in like this. And this will go right in like that. And lock the glass in place. <coughs> I may need something like this to make sure Okay, I got that piece, and now I just have to put this last piece. Okay, I got that flush in, and I'm going to flush this part in. Okay, it's all flushed in nicely. The glass is in, now I can go ahead and lock this part.
So now I can go ahead and screw this, this pad. I'm going to add another one. And the socket, we have our frame. So when you look at it on this side, you have a frame there, nice and beautiful. Okay, so now it's time to take it inside and put it where it's supposed to be. We have our window in place and it does look good. So now it's time to do the finishing work. And I'm going to close the door to check. So when it's closed, that's how it looks like. And I'm going to now do all the uh, the molding around the door. 